Well, little update. Um, I added some weight to the bed since I noticed that um, because I didn't actually glue this Sprint and Z surface down, because this is a pretty narrow, tall thing, I noticed that it was doing a little wobble. While that's probably not going to damage the print, it might add artifacts. So I'll just put some weight on there to hold it down. But I did notice I got a layer shift. Two millimeters left, x-axis. No idea why I did that. I was sitting here next to it when I did it, and it did not do it. On the first one, perfect. So, no idea. I didn't hear anything. Nothing, didn't make no noises. I didn't hear a step or jump or anything, so I have no clue why I did that. The belt seems tight to me. It's got nice tension. It's like, um, I would say, um, car serpentine belt tight. It feels fine. Looks fine. And it's printing fine, so I let it continue. I think I may have figured out what happened with the dragon yesterday. Maybe my X coupler is why the other two failures occurred. Maybe. But, probie mistake. I put the power cable over top of the X and Z cable, or the X cable, which would have absolutely inhibited this thing's ability to pull up, so it may have just gotten taunt from being underneath that other cable. It may have yanked the X gantry down. <coughs> so, I pinned up the power cord since I can't obviously unplug it while it's printing. So now this is completely unhindered, so it will proceed normally. Both of these are free to do as they please. And uh, that also probably explains why this was not sitting right. It was being pressed on by the power cable. So we shall see if it does it again.